Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the video and please check out some of my old content that I already posted. And I hope you're having a great day. Let's get right into the video. Strapping down, I did throw like 11 straps on here. The bulk of them in the center where most of the weight is at. This is a very weird looking load, but let's take it easy going on the road and this is what happens. Hey David, hey David, I like that. I was traveling through Missouri and my fuel filters got clogged up, so I had to pull over to um, buy more fuel filters and get them put on. And then I just got back on the road. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. have seen it on a New Mexico interstate, a car riding in the left-hand lane. But a new law is putting an end to that. As anchor Sasha Leninger explains, state police is cracking down on semi-trucks posting in that left lane. It's something he sees a lot. It's pretty often, depending on the location, but with the left lane specifically, I do see it frequently. Um, so I definitely have made some traffic stops. What Officer Nicholas Chavez is referring to are commercial motor vehicles coasting the left lane. So, um, this driver is not making any um, indication that they're going to attempt to pass the vehicle. If you look at the truck's momentum and the speed, now he's moving over, but we could still stop him for that because we did observe it in plain view. In July, a new law went into effect. You mind opening the door for me, sir? It prohibits all commercial trucks from traveling in the left-hand lane. What I'm trying to get across to you, sir, is it can cause an accident. It's a situation you don't want to find yourself in.
casino. Want to go inside, probably play a few games. Call it a night. Just delivered my load of steel and I'm headed up to Yucca, Arizona to pick up my next load. It's a load of PVC, plastic PVC pipe, and that load is going to Wisconsin. Picking up my load. I'm um, just about to go to Wisconsin when we leave here. It's a really beautiful day out here in, I think it's Yucca, Arizona. Hey, people from all over been here. So where's Santa Claus at, man? You gonna let me know? I've been waiting on him for years. I've been a good boy this year, so I'm trying to see what I'm gonna get this year, but you just sitting over there with your mouth wide open. You ain't letting me know what's going on. So, uh, see ya, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Driving at the time, 
and it was like a nail at the end of the trailer, like right before that back plate of the um, trailer. And I didn't realize it was like right there. It was like kind of dug into the trailer. And then my boot had got caught on it and I fell out the back of the trailer. And I landed right on my chin. Like my elbow, I kind of braced the fall on my elbow, but my chin had like smashed into the ground. But luckily nothing happened. I just had like a major headache after that. But I could have like knocked all my teeth out. I could have bit my tongue. I don't know, I was just thankful that nothing else crazy happened. And another time I was, um, I went to like the Philadelphia Mint. I was, I had like 40,000 pounds of pennies in my trailer and I was taking it to a Brinks security place and I had to help them unload it by pretty much they gave me a apologize and I had to push it to the back. And luckily that day I had a friend of mine to put on my work boots before I got in the trailer. I had on sweatpants and some slides. So I was like, man, let me just put my boots on right quick. So I put my boots on. I got in there. And then right when I started pulling the, um, the fork, not the fork loop, the power jack, with one of the um, skids of pennies, yeah, like ran over my foot. Because the the um, trailer was like pretty much, I was on a, on a hill. And the back end of the trailer was kind of like a downhill. And as soon as I was trying to pull it over, it, it like ran over my foot. And if I wouldn't have had those boots on, my foot would have been gone. Cause I, that pallet or skid or whatever, it was at least like four or 5,000 pounds per each skid. Cause there wasn't that many on there. But I still, I still kind of felt it, but I had on still toe boots. So it kind of saved me. So like these boots I have, I literally had them since I first started driving trucks back in 2016. Like I bought them in 2016, right before I got on a truck with my, um, my trainer was, I, I started out with Swift and um, we had started like, it was around this time in 2016, it was like right before New Year's. I did a run with him and then I took off New Year's and then we came back out when 2017 hit. Last night, I, I parked here at this quick trip. Finally delivering the load. I'm